everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Delaney if this is your first time clicking on my videos welcome and, and like and subscribe you want to see more gaming content I'm trying to post at least twice a week depending on how busy I am but um try my best at least once a week but I want to be two <laughs> two videos a week today I am excited because I have um if you clicked on this video then you already know um I've had the steam deck for about maybe about two weeks now about to be two weeks coming up so I wanted to give some of my first impressions some of my thoughts and then do like a little Q&A from some questions that I got about it on my Instagram. So, <laughs> let's get started. So firstly, let's talk about what a Steam Deck is. Um, a Steam Deck is essentially a handheld portable gaming device created by the company Valve Corporation. Um, it released in February 2022 of this year. It is um, basically Valve's way of coming out with a handheld device um, for on the go, I would say. It has a Linux OS installed on it, so you're able to use it as a desktop as well. Um, so there are so many different little aspects that I'm still trying to figure out with like what I can do with it because um, it's it's kind of a powerful device so yeah essentially valve corp they run the steam store which if you have a gaming pc you're very familiar with with the steam you're able to play some of their steam library portable so this little device is able to play games on the go or even just on your couch without you having to sit at your computer desk so that's what steam deck is and i'm really excited that I was finally able to pick one up because I have been on the fence about whether or not I wanted one. So essentially, um, when the Steam Deck was initially announced, there were a lot of people who pre-ordered it and even on release date, it was very scarce um, to even have a Steam Deck and there was a lot of scalping going on. Um, but I actually just, by the end, since it's leading into the end of the year, Steam has been able to have a, a wide variety of the decks available. So that's why I decided I'd just jump on it before or if it becomes scarce again <laughs> to get it for the price that it's been purchased for. So I have the 64 gig, which is $399.99. And I say that it's about $50 more than the Switch OLED. So it's actually not too bad. And there's just so many things that you can do with it. Um, so far, there's the desktop, which I discovered you're able to get into. And you can connect a keyboard and a mouse to it. And then there's also um, some li library of games like PlayStation games, Xbox games that you're able to access. The cool device to play around with um, so far. And I think that this is a perfect console for all types of gamers, depending on your play style. So it's perfect for cozy, for casual, for hardcore gamer. You definitely wanna pick up the Steam Deck because still some um, compatibility when it comes to some of the Steam games. But I've been looking through the library of lists of Steam Deck games that are available and there's like a lot and it tells you, it's very good with telling you the store, what games are compatible or what games are semi-compatible or aren't at all. But even when it says it's not, there's still some, it's mostly because of like mapping issues which can be easily fixed but yeah so far i've been enjoying it but i want to get more into what the steam deck can do and why i feel like the switch isn't actually in trouble or the competition for the steam deck i think that the think playstation and xbox should is the one that is really in competition with when it comes to like console wars as some people like to say but when it comes to like what the ex what the Steam Deck has been created for, because initially you would say that the niche would be um, it's a handheld device, Switch is also a handheld device. But I think that Xbox and PlayStation is the one that should be worried, you know. <laughs> but um, I think that Xbox and PlayStation, I feel like it has more competition with because so initially for me, I've been wanting a PlayStation 5 for the past year now, and, but it's been so inaccessible. And I've even thought about getting a PlayStation 4 until I could find a 5. But then I decided not to because it just seemed like too much to invest 
in a, a, a backwards con like a, a backwards console when I could get the PlayStation 5 eventually. So um, I've been wanting to play some of the PlayStation library like God of War or Death Stranding I have in Final Fantasy because I actually picked up those games because I initially wanted to buy PlayStation. But um, yeah, it's still not accessible. I mean, some people are saying now you can go into the store and pick it up, which I'm pretty sure by the holiday, like December, I should be able to find PlayStation without having to race other people online or even in store to get one. But um, yeah, here the Steam, like getting the Steam Deck has really made me realize that maybe I don't need a PlayStation, which I know is kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, there are games on it that I can easily play without the PlayStation. So God of War, which I mentioned before, is the first game that I picked up on Steam Deck. And I'm really happy playing with it. And it's so cool that you can play such a like heavy, um, performing graphically game handheld like this with no issues and even um, frame rates are pretty good like I think I've put it down to about 40 um, 40 FPS when I play so yeah it, and it's really looks very beautiful very nice and I just I'm really happy to be able to play such a game handheld which is one of my favorite gaming play styles um so yeah i definitely feel like that's what the real competition is and not the switch but um i just wanted to be able to um, answer some questions that i got on my instagram about the steam deck and the portability so i'll put section those out within the video um, also check me out there if you want to interact with more of my content um, I'm there most more than I am on YouTube, I would say, but um, it's more accessible. Um, the first question is, would you say having both a Switch and a Steam Deck are worth it? And I did talk about this a little, but I say having both is definitely worth it, but mostly it depends on what other consoles you have, I would say. So for me, I only have exclusively the Switch and I've been wanting to expand my um, gaming horizons as you would like, to, as I would like to say, um, and play more like heavier performing games or more um, triple A games, I guess I would say. And the Steam Deck's perfect for that. Um, there are, there's like a nice library of games and different ones that I can't um, access on the Switch. But also, um, I like that I can play The Sims on it, which I've never gotten a chance to play. So I'm trying to, currently it's compatible, but there's some extra things you need to download to be able to play it on the Steam Deck. And also I think you need a keyboard and mouse to play it. But I'm excited to be able to explore that. And there are some tutorials that I've seen to add windows and also so that you can play Genshin Impact as well, which that's why I think it's so versatile. But um, I feel like it complements the Switch. So if you have the means and the money to be able to for it for the 64 gig is $399, which is about $50 more than the Switch OLED. So if you have like a, a Switch Lite, I say investing in a Steam Deck is perfect. Even if you have a Switch, I have a Switch Lite and a Switch OLED, but I'm saying um, it is, I think that it's a good investment, especially if you want to find more um, games to play, but you're not um, sure if you want a PlayStation or Xbox. See my first impression is it's really big <laughs> like i'm gonna put a comparison video um you can also check out my unboxing so compared to the switch it is very big it's slightly bulky but i think that is really comfortable to hold because it has the grips on the back so it has like a little bit of a weight to it um which at first you feel like it's a little bit heavy i think i feel like my hands are a little bit <laughs> big i feel like my hands are pretty big a nice size so like it's not really uncomfortable for me i'm not sure about someone with small hands but i do like that there's the grips on the back to be able to hold it and it's very comfortable for long game plays um i probably play maybe i don't play really long in handheld but usually play like maybe three hours of holding and I don't really feel uncomfortable. 
Um, I would say it's actually way more comfortable than the Switch when it comes to like the grips, the, the built-in grips. Yeah, for you to do that on the Switch, you have to um, add a grip to it. Yeah, I yeah I really love, love that. <laughs> um, and I say that the button configurations on it are similar to the Switch, but they it is a little bit more comfortable to be able to play with how the buttons are configured at the top. And then you have like the trackpad and some of the steam buttons, things like that. But um, I've been enjoying it so far. Next question is, can you play in handheld or docked? So you can play in handheld, but also um, there are, I've been seeing more um, things similar to the Switch where you can do adapters to connect to the Steam Deck and put it um, on your computer. So you could have it through OBS streams to be able to um, do streams from your Steam Deck as well as um, just have it displayed on your monitor so you can play the games in a bigger screen. So I think that that's cool, even though it's not like how the Switch comes with the built-in dock to be able to dock your thing, you can add on accessories that, that will help you to do that. And it's very, it seems very simple, very easy as plugging it in and playing, which I think is a cool thing about the Steam Deck is that it's so much versatility to this device and so much more that you just, um, depending on how you want to play or play around with it, you can explore so many different options, a variety to do things on the Steam Deck. The next question is how is the battery life and how well does it travel? So the battery life is, is a pretty decent battery life. It says two to eight hours, um, but it depends on the game you're playing. So right now I am just playing God of War and it is a very high performance game. So there will be, I wanna say it gives me about three hours, depending on how I do my display, such as brightness, um, how I do the frames per set per minute. And yeah, I've been kind of playing around with the settings to see how well the battery life can hold up. Um, so that just depends on the game you're playing and also how much graphically it, it will take up on the steam deck but i don't say i still say the battery life is pretty decent um but you just have to play around with the settings and and i think that for traveling i wouldn't travel i wouldn't travel with the steam deck i'm gonna be honest because it is bulky the case is really big i can't imagine putting it into my backpack when i'm trying to travel in the airport or going on a, like maybe going on a trip but i can't imagine really putting my backpack to go on the go with it because it's so bulky um when it comes to that that like option but i do say like to sit at home with it is perfect but yeah traveling on the go i'm going to say not for me. It depends on what your gaming style is, but I say the Switch is still more um, accessible and, and easier to travel with and pick up and go than it when it comes to the Steam Deck, even though you can download the games to the same way. But yeah, you see, this is really bulky. I, I wouldn't feel comfortable just pulling this out on a bus or on a plane to play with, you know? Um, yeah, I I would say not the best traveling um, buddy, but that's why you have to switch to compliment it. <laughs> I, so now I'm gonna say like my final thoughts on the Steam Deck. So if you're clicking on this video, then you obviously are like trying to figure out if you want a Steam Deck. I did the same thing when I was looking <laughs> into the Steam Deck and figuring out what I, if I needed it or what. And I will say yes, because for this, these reasons, it's perfect for cozy gamers, casual gamers, um, and hardcore gamers. Like it's so versatile for all three, and there are so many different options that you can go with when it comes to how you want to play. When it comes to emulation, when it comes to um, using it as a desktop, as a computer, when it comes to those different aspects, I think that it's such a cool little, um, it's a, such a cool device and I'm really happy to have picked it up. 
something that is so accessible i'm going to link below because i ordered this in the week and i received it so it's been really quick and i think that this would be a perfect christmas gift actually so it's like perfect that they have enough models right now to be able to send out so i hope this video helps you guys if you're thinking about getting a steam deck let me know down below what are your thoughts on the steam deck do you already pick one up or are you, do you have any tips for me or any game recs as well and let me know down below in the comments your thoughts i always love to interact with everyone and i hope you guys enjoyed this and got a little bit of idea of how the steam deck works i try to make it streamline not ramble i'm going to get better when it comes to doing reviews <laughs> and i hope all of you guys are doing well as always staying well and staying healthy and have a wonderful day bye